Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by reviewing the films, obviously, talking about them, or the merchandising, TV shows, programs, whatever the case may be. So, for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the film titled better nate than never what a stupid title oh damn it shit it's mr monkey you never listen to me at all Try to relax your anus. of course i had to get drunk because i have to forget about this trash somehow oh boy man this was, this was just awful i mean really bad it's so boring mr monkey what, what what is your problem? Go get a job. I mean, you know, listen, all right? Okay. Stab, stab, stab. There you go. Yeah. Okay, now go away. You're dead. Ha. Huh. But yeah, that's the thing. I keep reviewing garbage again and again. Oh, boy. Man. Anyway, whatever. As usual, let's just talk about the plot, shall we? So, of course, the film uh, speaks about Lilo and Stitch, like a Broadway version of it, of course. And because the main character and his best friend, I guess you can say, are, are like the best buddies, I guess you can say. And, yeah, the thing is that our main character here fantasizes about becoming a big Broadway star. And how is he going to do that? He has no plan B, really. Which, of course, is something I have a problem with this movie. Is that... It feels too whimsical, in a lot of ways. Because there's no real logic, really. Uh, like, everything's too convenient. That's what I mean. The entire movie relies on plot conveniences, really. No, that's not how... No. I mean, I know some people will be telling me, it's Disney. I know it is, but that doesn't, that's no excuses. And the cheesiness. Ugh. I missed your monkey. You again? I'm talking about how boring this movie is. It feels like no, there's no real stake at this movie. You're not even listening, are you? You just want me to watch this. I like it. Uh, no. It's not going to happen. Yeah, that's what you get. But like I was saying, this movie is, it's 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 boring. It's really, it feels like there's no real stakes, really. I was so bored. I was starting to wander off. I'm just thinking about doing better things. Uh, I didn't like none of the characters, really. Like, at all. So our main character and his best friend hatch a plan to pretend to be each other's parents or whatever. So they can get what they want, which is a form of lying. Let's even... Uh, film where the main character goes to like bar mitzvah and lies about being a part of it and lies to a relative that's a part of it. Not his relative, not his relative, but like a little boy lies about being his repetitive, his, his, um, relative. It just comes off really repetitive. He lies, I'm all lying. And there's like no consequences to his lying. Like at all. Like the movie's just going along, Okay. Uh, of course, whenever there's like a stressful moment, our main character gets out of it very conveniently. Uh, plot conveniences. So everything just felt safe because of that. Oh man, come on. Oh, what the hell? Mr. Monkey, how are you even still here? Oh boy, I, I better investigate this at some, this, some point. Oh, come on, hey. Okay, since you won't listen, how about you just freeze to death? Yeah, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, th th this will kill you. L leave you in there for a little while. There you go. Yeah, you little bastard. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, this garbage. But yeah, the writing's terrible. It's so, the writing's so horrendous, folks. I mean, come on. Were they, were they trying? I don't think so. Like I said, I, I began to wander off because this entire thing was so boring. 
Oh, I was losing my mind. I was losing my damn mind. Yeah, that's... Okay, let me see over here. I have the movie. Yeah, I finally found a physical copy. Yeah, just so I, I can destroy it. There you go. It's destroyed. There you go. This movie sucks. Yeah, like I said, the writing is terrible in this movie. It's really bad. Christ. And don't get me wrong, folks. While I do think it's a great idea to include a gay main character without actually having anybody saying the word gay, just, throw, just throwing some hints at his sexual orientation. Okay. That's great. You have a gay main character in a full-length movie. It's not a short, it's not a TV show, but an actual full-length movie. That's great. Movie's still terrible, though. Mr. Monkey, leave the cat alone. Stop messing with the cat. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's on my to-do list, folks. So I just thought I'll just take care of it real quick. And I, I know it's taking me a notebook, but I'm kind of to-do list anyway because lots of stuff to review. I wonder if this could be considered as career baiting. I mean, if you're going to base a story around the character's sexual orientation, and he's supposed to explore the war and whatnot. Okay, but then they do nothing with this, like, at all. Rachel Amber was criticized for being quote-unquote queer-baiting, which I have to disagree because at least it amounts to something in the overall story. At least it meant something in the grand scheme of things. But right here, nothing. It does it, it, This kind of thing does nothing. Ugh. I mean, also, the acting is horrendous. The acting is not very good. No. Some of the singing is, some of the singing is actually kind of okay. Okay, some of the singing does give a, I give a pass, because some of it was actually quite decent, I should say. So, alright. Still not enough to save the movie, though. Like, at all. Still terrible. <sighs> no. Just new. Well, just Christ on my, what could have been, is what I'm wondering. What could have been? I think in some ways Disney is getting too comfortable. It's, it's like they're not trying as hard. At least with the live action movies. With the live action movies. It's like they're not trying as hard to make them good. Not really. Because they got too comfortable. Because they feel like anybody's going to watch their movies. Christ. Uh, but just, wow. Come on. Anyway, I'll give this film a overall rating of a 4.8 out of 10. It's a 4.8 out of 10 for me. As always, thank you for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later. Just, what the hell?